91p centre-back to be sweatier than a geese after he runs a marathon? An 87p CDM with 80 strength to slap your opponent silly? All of these and more are within the top 10 FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Hidden Gems we're gonna chinwag about today. So let's get into it! On Yekka! Right here boysies, we actually have a reincarnation of the FIFA legend himself, Ramirez. FIFA 17 can't they point to vibes. He has 87 pace, which is actually 88 sprint speed, so we can be on it like Sonic on crack and zoom around forever. Dribbling is also pretty good, with his agility a balance up to 80, so you might need to actually give him a bib, he's gonna be dribbling that much. Shooting, uh, yeah, it's kind of in the mud though, so please don't have a crack with him anytime soon, otherwise you'll be cracking your console in half. Defending is pretty decent, uh, of course not too jaw spinning, you know, to make him more higher rated, but definitely good enough to use with 74 standing tackle and 76 interceptions there too. Passing is also uh, a little bit muddy, just a little bit wibbly wobbly, right? But actually, his short passing is up at 72. So as long as you pass the fellas just one foot in front of you, you'll be all good. <laughs> then the physicality is where it's at, with the 81 overall physical in there, but actually 90 stamina and 80 strength, so he can definitely run around forever choke slamming everyone in sight. A uh, lovely stuff. He does also have three star skills and three star weak foot, so not quite a rainbow flick simulator year but he gets the job done. He is also six foot tall so will help in that CDM role with cutting out those slab head crosses and headers and his work rates are at high height so with that 90 stamina and 88 sprint speed he's literally going to be Mr. Janitor cleaning up the floor everywhere getting that job done properly in midfield. Sexy card that could honestly be a great for a few months. Morals, where if you spank everyone with this card, you will be forgetting about your morals. <laughs> he has 86 pace and 87 acceleration, so he can definitely leave the defenders fingering their own belly buttons in confusion, he's just gone. 85 dribbling, which is actually up to 87 in-game dribbling with 84 composure as well, so Lingard will honestly love him. Oh, composure lads, composure! 82 shooting on this bad boy too, with 84 finishing, 84 positioning, and 82 shot power. Uh, lads, just get 10 defenders on the pitch. This guy can go up front by himself and just score all the goals. He's got it all. 75 passing on him too, with 77 short passing and crossing, so he can link up well with your other winger wingers chicken dinners as well. Then also 68 physicality, so he will be able to chin a defender if he has to. But if that wasn't saucy enough, lads, he has also got 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot. Like, what can't this man do, honestly? He is 5 foot 11 and has high medium work rates to round that off too. Well, wow, honestly, I might, I might just give him my babies. He is that good. Like, what? wow. <laughs> like, how is this card rated 81? I, I don't know. You need to get on it, lads. Saint Juiced. And oh boy, isn't he actually a saint? Because right here, we have the fastest gold centre-back in the game. Uh, yeah, definitely a hidden gem, right? No one knows about this. Uh, well, some people might not know, all right? Where we have not just a 91 pace centre-back, but he also has 94 sprint speed. Um, what? Like, honestly, you will have to spray that short deodorant on yourself right now because this is the sweatiest thing I've ever seen in my life. He also has 74 dribbling, which is actually pretty damn good for a defender, you know, especially at his rate then. So he can definitely have a roll and stroll out to your defence if he fancies it. His defending is also pretty damn solid at 78, with 80 interceptions and 79 defensive awareness. Um, not like he has the pace of a crackhead so can just react fast and recover anyway. <laughs> Physicality is also up there though, at 73, along with 85 jumping and 71 strength too. He also has 3 star, 3 star, which you know, standard for a defender and also standing at six feet tall as well. So what we have here is a defender who has literally snorted the fattest line he possibly could find and has kept all of those crack-like abilities. He can definitely clean up any defense, make sure you don't concede any goals or any of those through balls. So I think it's a good idea to try and fit him in your team. Great gem here. Patson Daka, more like Patson Dagger, with how great of an Adaka he's gonna be. 93 pace on this geezer then, with up to 94 sprint speed. So leave a goodbye note to your other team's defenders because he's already gone. Bye! Dribbling is also pretty good with 76 on the face, which doesn't seem too pleasant, right? But then he has as high as 89 agility. Are you mad? He'll be turning quicker than SpongeBob does his burgers like. Shooting is also underrated here with 78 base, but then 82 finishing, which some might say is actually better finishing than Johnny Sims. Wow, fair play. His physicality also isn't lacking with 82 two stamina, uh, so yeah, he definitely is Mr. Sins in disguise, but then more importantly, 89 jumping as well. What? He doesn't even need to run past the defenders, he just jump over them. So the fact he is also six foot tall too, means not only has he got incredible pace, very good dribbling and shot, he can also get on all of those headers too. What an absolute header he is, absolute plur. 
Myron Budau, where he won't make you bored, ah, to use, you know? With his 89 pace and as high as 91 acceleration here, so he's a little bit of a zoomy boy. 76 dribbling, but also as high as 85 agility whapped in there too. And 75 shooting with as good as 78 finishing. Physicality is on the lower side, as is passing though, so might as well socially distance your thoughts away from them. Just look at the spicy good stats, you know? But what's better than his best stuff is the fact that he has a 5-star weak foot. Damn, son! So that definitely isn't weak at all. All. I, I get it, yeah, yeah. So if you're looking for a very cheap striker in the Uber Eats League, ready to start you off on that road to Messi, this is definitely the least messy striker to go for. Yeah, yeah. Maxence Lacroix. Or if you like me and have the amazing taste in shoes, let's call him Lacroix. We're similar to the St. Juiced earlier. We have a proper speedy boy at centre back here. With his fella right here, having 88 pace, but actually 93 sprint speed. I am Lacroix might actually be better though with defending at 80 but also his interception and defensive awareness as high as 83 so damn son pretty good with also great physicality with his strength up at 83 too how can you have that pace and strength what but not only that he is also six foot three tall and has high defensive work rates as well oh dear screw your Varans, chuck them in the bin this is honestly the best centre back in the game is dribbling and passing is proper whack though, yeah, yeah, like proper in the mud. So use him just to defend, but the fact that his defending, his pace, his strength and all good, you only need him to defend anyway. But don't try anything fancy with him, uh, but I definitely still fancy this card myself. Adam Armstrong, where don't be fooled, boys, his arms aren't actually as strong as you might think. What? His name's Armstrong, with only 61 strength in year. But the rest of the card, ooh, proper naughty. With his pace sitting at, or shall I say running at, 90 with 93 acceleration, with also dribbling very good with 87 agility and 90 balance and everything else in there over 74 as well. Shooting is also up there, so he's going to be like me on Tinder, shooting his shot all the time. But never missing, we're hey! With 77 overall shooting and 79 finishing. Along with having 84 jumping and 81 stamina on his physicality too, which makes up for him only being 5 foot 8. Wow, what an absolute lanky geese. I was aware they're up there, son. <laughs> he does also have high attacking and low defending work rate, so perfect to be a proper goal hanger, get all those goals. Along with a four-star weak foot to top it all off as well. Oh, not weak at all for your Premier League starter team. Fabian Castello. Now this one here might be quite stretched and not many people are looking for it, right? So I won't try and stretch too far and say why he's that good. Because otherwise I'll just pull an hamstring or something, won't I? But right here, we do have a 75 rated Mexican League striker. Uh, uh, what, why, why is he even here? <laughs> but he is here because he has 92 pace and 94 acceleration, 81 dribbling and up to 93 agility and 85 in-game dribbling as well, along with 75 shooting and 73 strength. And also along with four star weak foot and four star skills. So you know what? Actually very, very saucy indeed, passes that catch up, son. Like I am proper feeling Ibarbo Doombia vibes here, you know? So if you need a proper cheap striker in a different league, he could be a very naughty one to go for. Very good indeed. Christopher Aja, Norway, easier. Uh, correct, he is from Norway. Yeah, yeah, well done. <laughs> Right here, we have a discard prem centre back. Uh, like, why is he even here? But then, looking at it, he is actually very, very good indeed. With him having 73 pace, you know, definitely usable, but actually 78 sprint speed. We're getting there, we're getting there. As well as having defending stats in the mid 70s, yeah, good enough. But more importantly, has 90 strength and is six foot five as well. Any of those crosses coming in, he's either handed off the striker onto the floor or he's going to header it first. Amazing. So he's got the pace, he's got the strength, and also good stats all around to actually be one of the better stars in Premier League centre-backs that I feel like is actually going to go pretty under the radar. So definitely, definitely a very good hidden gem. Whoa, that's the video. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Mateus Kana, who is actually going to be a last fella here. Ah. He's only a 79 rated camp, but look at that card and tell me it, it shouldn't be more. Like, uh, what? Where he has 85 pace, so actually one of the fastest original cams in the game. Obviously, you can convert anyone, you know, you know. Along with 84 dribbling in there, so definitely get the bib out because he's going to be dribbling everywhere. Ooh, it's going to be like Harold Kane. But not only that, he also has 78 shooting with 80 long shots too. Perfect for a cam to have those fruit shoots whenever he wants outside the box. He also has great passing too, so, you know, very important for a cam to pass to anyone he needs to. But then the extra, extra spice on top is the fact he has four-star skills and four-star weak foot, along with being six feet tall as well. So an absolute dirty, underrated card, Brazilian and in a big league. Yeah, boy! But that is going to be it for the top 10 FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Hidden Gems. Players gone under the radar that could do very well. Thanks to you all for watching, and also, remember... <laughs> Don't be a cheeky scrub. Subscribe to Nathan Bacon right now.
<laughs> Don't let your memes be dreams. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.